What is up, boys? We are back here with Side Unity. I did say I was going to get some more of this. Definitely better than Pride, in my opinion, because there's heroes in here, you bell stuff. Uh, I mean, even Dark Magician Girl with the altar, you know, if you're into the waifus. And uh, what else is in here, actually? There, is the Dark Magician altar in here? I feel like it's not. But anyways, let's go ahead and open these boxes and see what we get. I cannot find my scissors, so hopefully the pull tabs don't do me uh, dirty this time around. It's uh, So here's the thing. The pull tabs are convenient when they work, but it seems like they uh, bend the cards more often than not, so we'll just try to be careful, I suppose. Anyways, we are in, boys. Let's see if we can do some great shit in this opening, because, um, yeah... I do want a Liquid Boy, by the way. That's kind of what I'm aiming for in terms of um, Quarter Century Rare. Maybe Dark Magician Girl, I guess, but it's super hard to get. So I, I, I'd rather go for the boy, you know, than the uh, the titties. All right, so we got a Meth Tech and a Twilight Dragon, I think. Nice, nice. If you guys are not familiar with this product, it is an OCG product that came out this year. And each little box has a potential of getting, well, not a potential, because you will be getting, is there, did we hit something here? Nah. All right. So each box, you get two, two ulties, two, wait, there is something here. Yeah, there we go. Two ulties and two um, quarter century rares. So let's see what our quarter century rare is. It's a spell. You know what? I'll go with Super Poly then. Hey, you know what? For a hero player, that is what's up. A hero lives. Now, I, I just took a, look, a peek here. All right, it is J Japan. I thought it was Korean for a second because uh, it kind of looked like Korean letters. And I'm like, wait, hang on. Didn't I get the Japanese version? But uh, I wonder if there's a if the Korean one is cheaper. Hmm. But uh, yeah. So as far as the product, there's a lot of stuff. That you can get in this so definitely worth picking up and we are not getting it by the way in or i should say we probably are not getting it in the tcg because it seems like most of the quarter century rares that are getting that got printed in here are going to be included in the 2024 tin which in my opinion sucks because they increased the set size by a lot and yeah it's just going to make stuff it's going to make things harder um to pull and i do not like that i do not like the direction konami has been going with in that regards and we can see it with battle of legends season one that it's people are not liking it people are not buying the sets that have a whole bunch of crap in it essentially so we got a ooh, it's a dark magician support it's a pretty old card i just kind of forgot eternal soul maybe Kind of sounds familiar, but hmm. Anyway, so we got a uh, ancient gear card in here. They are in here. Oh, an IP. I forgot actually. I wonder if the alt art is in here. All right, so okay, quarter century back to or not back to back, but usually there's a an ulti in between. It's a fire. Oh no, it's a dark. It's an effect dark, but I kind of doubt it's a dark magician girl. Oh, okay. So I was gonna, I was gonna say there ain't no way this is dark magician girl because. The name was too long, but, uh, ooh, Burning Abyss, I think. Uh, don't shoot me. I don't know, man. Uh, names are hard. There's so many cards. I think there's, like, almost 1,500 or 15,000 cards. I can't know every single card. I try, though. I do try. D Hero. There we go. Hell yeah. And what else do we got here? A Utopia. Okay. Utopia the Boy. The Liquid Soldier, though, man, do I have to buy it? It's probably like a $10 card, if that, but pulling stuff is so much better. You remember it, right? When, when you buy stuff, it's not as memorable, so I'd rather pull it. All right, so Apprentice Illusion Magician and a, a Magician Circle or something like that. Pretty decent card for Dark Magician decks. All right. We haven't hit on, uh, I pulled an ulti, though, so that's kind of interesting. Plasma. What am I? Plasma is an ulti, actually. All right, so that might be an ulti right here. Uh, no. All right, it is a Torn Scale, Phantom Knight's Torn Scale, something like that. All right. 
All right, all right. Let me know, guys. Are you excited for the 2024 tins? Because I am not for the aforementioned reasons. But, uh, yeah, the set size is just way too big. Another spell. Ulti spell. First ulti. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go with Super Poly. I've already pulled. Oh, dude, that is awesome, actually. Mask change. I already pulled a Super Poly ulti, but I will gladly take another. And see, that's the bad part about the pull tab is they uh, damage the cards. But I've been trying to be, I, I've been trying to be careful here too. So I don't know. I don't know. Got to really find these scissors, man. All right. So we need one more ulti, and uh, yeah, you can pull the Dark Magician Girl in ulti, but not the alt art of her so yeah we'll see also dark magician is, uh, can can be pulled as an ulti as well all right oh the boy that's awesome uh, we got neos as a secret rare that's nice actually i will gladly take that i recently bought a shitload of uh, neos quarter century rares from the 2024 10 or 2023 10 and yeah, they, they do not disappoint. I'm a big hero guy, if you did not know by now. We got Vision Hero and uh, some Pendulum card, I, I believe. These these Secret Rares are really nice as well. They kind of remind me of the, the Secret Rares we get from the uh, the tins. I mean, I'm talking about tins quite a bit, huh? But uh, yeah, I like that rarity for sure. We got Malicious, Malicious, Malicious as an ulti would be nice, actually. So, oh, Liquid Boy. I always see these together, by the way. So, we'll we'll see if uh, that's a good sign there. We got Emergency Call. And, ooh, Waifu. We're pulling some pretty decent uh, Secret Rares, actually. We got the Neos, we got the Waifu, Apprentice Illusion Magician. And I think we pulled Stardust Charge Warrior or something like that. That's a pretty decent reprint. I mean, we, it's not playable in uh, the TCG, but uh, Malicious, Malicious just got off the ban list too, by the way, that's crazy. Alright, so it is the last ulti here, and it's a Link, so honestly, I don't know. Okay, you know what? That ain't bad. That ain't bad. Out of all the wife boos and whatnot, and the cape looks really badass there with that foiling, oh boy. Dude, I will take that, actually. A mask change... A hero lives, and the underworld waifu herself. Hell yeah. Judgment Dragon. We got an ancient gear card, and uh, I have no idea, actually. All right, let's do box two. All right, we are in, boys. Come on, Liquid Boy and Malicious. That's really what I want more than anything in higher rarities. Um... The ultis are actually, in my opinion, in the set a lot better looking than the quarter century rares because of the foiling. They hit different, man. They really do. All right, so we got a waifu win. Win. All right. Hate to see the waifus. Except, you know, I'll take Underworld Goddess. I hate the waifus, but Underworld Goddess is all right in my book. She, she made the list. <laughs> all right, so let's see. Dark Hole. Alti, by the way, a, a, a dark hole alti. If you haven't seen it on the webs, take a look at it because it's really nice foiling. All right, so this is not anything. I think that's Minerva. I'm pretty sure that's like Light Sworn support, and her name is Minerva. But I could be wrong. Stardust Charge Warrior, Malicious without Liquid Boy following it. The first time I've seen that. All right, and. An ulti effect monster that is a dark. Okay, so off the hop, I know this is Destiny Hero Plasma. And it is. And you guys want to know why. I saw the B, the blue, the BL, and the, the, the D. I was like, okay, well, I know Destiny Hero in Japan is called Blue D. And we got the motherfucking boy. This is awesome, dude. <laughs> Hell yeah. Very hero centric opening. I'm loving this for sure. Because there's... It's not just heroes, right? Like, there's definitely other cards. But the fact that I keep pulling pretty decent hero cards is amazing. Now, are we going to get Malicious right after this? No, we're not. Okay, so that did just break the trend here. Got Mask Change and... 
Ooh, Tamias. Okay. Tamias. Tamias as an ulti would be pretty dope, too, actually. But uh, no, no, we're chasing heroes, at least for this opening. I might buy some more boxes and then we can chase some Dark Magician cards. But uh, not not this opening. Not not today, Junior. All right, so that is Gear Town. Cool. Gear Town Secret Rare. We are getting more ancient gear stuff this month, by the way, guys. So, uh, I mean, hopefully it's good, because uh, it's an Xyz monster. What Xyz monsters are there in here? Um, hmm. It's a light as well. Oh, okay, and that's not the Astral, is it? Uh, I don't think it is. No, it's definitely not, because it says num number 39 at the top there. Uh, I mean, I'll, I'll take it. The thing about Utopia, though, is that it gets so many high rarities, at least in the TCG, and they all just flop in the market, which kind of sucks. Like, they put a Utopia ulti in a tournament pack. That just doesn't make sense. Also, this pack is awesome. Back-to-back boss-ass monsters. All right, so do we have anything? No, we don't. Firewall, Dragon, Mini Firewall, Dragon. But, uh, yeah, yeah, Utopia is just not it, in my opinion. So many high rarities, and they all flop. We got a Raid Raptor, hell yeah, and a... Oh, this is the new Firewall Dragon that we got not that long ago. I believe it was last year in Maze of... Mil not Millennia, Maze of Memory. Wait, shit. Yeah, memory, Maze of Memory was the first ma Maze set. That is correct. Link Karibo got hit on the ban list, by the way. It's kind of funny. Miracle Fusion would be, also be nice as an ulti or a quarter century. Oh, I love this guy. He's, he's adorable. He is adorable. All right, so we still need one more ulti and one more QCR. And I really hope they are both hero cards. Or a Dark Magician, I guess we'll settle for a Dark Magician card. But again, we're not chasing those necessarily. It's an effect monster. There's a lot of effect hero monsters. So let's see. It's a dark... Uh, it's a D-hero. Dark D-hero. Uh, in particular, I'm not really... I'm blanking, but I'm guessing it's dangerous then. Oh, hell yeah. Okay. I was going to say, like, I don't want to see da dangerous. This is awesome, bro. Hell yeah, this is one of my favorite heroes. Liquid Boy, of course, is my favorite hero, but there's something about the colors, the pose, the artwork of Destiny Hero Phoenix guy that, I mean, hell yeah, dude. Dude, that Destiny heroes are actually being pulled in this opening. That's crazy. Okay, cool. So, uh, Liquid Boy, quarter century rare, please, please. I'm not asking for too much. I'm not asking for the waifu, for the Dark Magician girl. I'm asking for the liquid boy. I need to get I need to stay hydrated, man. I need to stay hydrated. Okay, so that is the Shining Neos. We pulled that as a quarter century last video, by the way. Last quarter century in this. Ooh, it's an effect. It's an effect. It's a dark though. Ooh. Raid Raptor. So ah, uh, Lanias. Tribute Lanias, I believe. Oh, uh, that sucks. <laughs> I, I also did kind of get excited. I thought it was going to be the uh, the Dark Magician. But again, the the name was way too long. So that was a nope. All right, let's wrap this up quickly here. And yeah, okay, that's another Destiny hero here that we could have gotten. Wait, wasn't that the one I, I thought we were going to pull? Dangerous. So there's De Destiny hero Dangerous. Uh, fuck. I'm really bad at the Destiny Hero fusions, because really you only use one, and it's usually just DPE, right? Unless you're playing a uh, pure Destiny Hero build, but uh, that usually ain't the best, or at least right now it ain't the best. All right, anyway, so last card. Uh, hey, you know what? <laughs> that is awesome. I'll take that. Ulti Honest, uh, or ne Honesty Neos would be pretty nice as well. Dude, I, I need to buy more of this product. This is really nice. Actually, anyway, so quick recap because we did pull, we did say, we did have some pretty decent pulls. You, I would say, Utopia was probably the dud in my opinion, just because again, it's just has so many uh, high rarity printings and they just don't do shit on the market. 
for the most part. Um, so we got a uh, Burning Abyss, something Burning Abyss. We also got a Hero Lives, badass card, man. Really, it's like a three of in a hero deck for sure. Um, and then a Mask Change, hell yeah, let's go. A An Underworld Goddess ulti, which I will take, because that cape, the, the foiling on the cape looks badass. Utopia, which again, eh. Uh, Destiny Hero Plasma, which is awesome as well. The foiling, though, uh, they could have done a little bit better on the foiling, in my opinion. The the the, um, the alties are usually pretty good. Same thing with uh, with my boy here, DPE. I kind of feel like they could have done a little bit, bit more, but maybe maybe the light's just not hitting it right. And then uh, Tribute Lanai is to end it off. Uh, in this opening. Catch you guys in the next one. Stay safe out there, folks.